I just wanted to add in here how to properly do the speed and power test. I didn't explain it very well on there. So you go to laser tools and now you'll see if you're on the new version 1.1. I think it's on point zero three now, but mine's still at 01. But you go to laser tools, come down to material test. And then this is how many boxes it's going to do. This is going to be 10 vertical rows and 10 horizontal rows. This is speed and power is what you're going to mainly be using and then you just want to type in your minimum speed so if it's like an engraving maybe you know if I, I do 150 minimum speed I would do 800 or however fast I want to go maximum speed the higher here is the size of the boxes so at the moment they're only five mil which is pretty small but it's still readable and then this wire center is where it is on the laser so by adjusting these you can move you know where it's going to be on the laser same with this side with your power you set your power to mass laser starts to fire about 9.5 power so i'd say minimum 10 and then maximum say 45 or whatever you want to go up to <coughs> And the same thing here i have done two of these tests one at five mil and one at ten mil and like i say they're both kind of read they're both readable but i mean the 10 mil gives you a little bit more space to see but it's just preference really but yep yeah, and then you'll see because when you press frame and it frames it on the laser these are the coordinates on the laser so if you know say that your piece of material can't go where it's saying and you can just adjust these to where the material is then this one edit material settings <coughs> is going to be what it's going to do so like really i said we're going to do an engraving so you're going to want that on fill and now you would choose your lines per inch which i left mine at 254 don't touch the speed and power because that's you know to do this over here and then the text settings so when it writes out let me just close that like this when it writes these actually you can see that like, they're bad these text settings and i'll see why so i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna go to the text settings and you can see there look like, that 50 lines per inch so let me just make this 254 which is i believe the fault and then say okay now i'll preview it and now you can see they're correct <coughs> so yeah just check them too and make sure they're doing what you want so, so if you wanted to cut squares or you know you would click line but on mine like i said i'm going to do an engrave so yeah, you just set these parameters how you want you preview it and just check that it's everything you want like i say you can change them numbers if you don't want to do because it it cuts them all individually at least on my one and i don't have it set to i've got it set to all shapes at once but it still does them one at a time but yeah if you wanted less you just say five by five and then it splits up the you know speed and powers till you reach maximum to minimum and then you click frame and it would frame it I think mine kind of framed down low on the laser but then like I say you can just you know adjust these and it, uh, you can just move it to where you want so yeah I just wanted to explain that a bit better because I didn't explain it well in the video Okay, that just finished. It came out pretty small, so I only done the letter. I only done it five millimeters per square, so but you can still actually see pretty good. Hopefully, 